Like, how could you send that out? Like, you packed that yourself and thought that's a good idea. I'm so glad I actually tried this so I can expose this. This is violation. This does not look like the picture, guys. This is gonna be a great thumbnail today, boy. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nadine. Hello. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be in English. Normally my channel has transformed into an Arabic channel where I do daily vlogs. So if you're Arab, please make sure you subscribe to my channel because most of my channel is Arabic. However, I do like to dip into my English from time to time and share with you guys content from my English followers because I do have another channel with my friend. It's called Nadine and Tahir, which is English and we do vlogs and videos like like that so i've just found this look which is so nice i used the makeup by mario palette it's so gorgeous like i genuinely could not even imagine getting a look that looks like this out of that palette not that i underestimated it so i'm gonna list down below the makeup details so for today's video it's super exciting because i haven't shopped in a very long time my shopaholic self is very proud of itself <laughs> i've basically been introduced to miss pat by tia on instagram i love her aesthetics she did a collab with them and i was like oh this brand looks quite cool the thing with me though is that i don't buy from like online fast fashion brands i don't know if this brand is fast fashion but it seems like it is but i was like hmm let me just give it a fair chance i did buy my jeans from missy empire and i absolutely love them so i did want to give this brand a shot as well please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content i promise i'll post in english from time to time however my vlogs will definitely remain in arabic yeah, miss pap had a 35 percent off discount plus a student discount that i added from my friend yeah yeah i did that i'm gonna be showing you these joggers these are so cute they are gray and i think i'm gonna style them with this gray top as well from miss pat now what i really love about them is that the inside is where the string is and it's also the fur bit inside because i'm actually cold 24 7 this is perfect for going out because right now in lockdown you can't really do anything apart from just do walks so this is definitely perfect it's gonna warm me up i just hope it's not gonna frizzle in the wash frizzle away is that the word it's just a gray basic the thing is i love gray at the moment i don't even know what it is i was actually looking for a gray eyeshadow palette so random but okay and the bottom looks like this next up is a suit that i bought and i don't think i'm going to keep that i just don't like the quality the quality is giving me aliexpress vibes and i'm used to like the quality of blazers from zara I take that back. This blazer was from AliExpress and it's actually better quality than Miss Pap's blazer. The link is in my bio XXX. So this one is the boyfriend blazer in the shade stone, size 14. I got an oversized one. I'm just gonna model it for you guys instead of me showing it. So the jacket is way too big. There's a difference between oversized and looking like a clown. Now I look like a clown. <laughs> It'd be nice built suddenly to have that oversized look do you know what i mean guys when you've got padded shoulders it should give you definition and this is drooping like it's doing the opposite because it's so heavy on me yeah honestly i don't know if i'm gonna keep it but i like the trousers the trousers look like this again it's giving me plastic vibes that's why i'm just like not wanting it like i could buy this from aliexpress if i wanted to but the reason why i went to miss paps because i was expecting a little bit more that's what i mean by like fast fashion i'm not bashing anything if you buy from fashion over and all these brands like i just don't know some of the clothes i bought the quality is phenomenal not phenomenal the quality i was like mm, this is nice but some of these i'm just like plastic land this is the pantsuit the suit pants the suit pants the pantsuit five minutes later this is the trousers for the suit it looks like this it's got two pockets got the nice scene the reason why i actually bought this is because the model had them on with like really cool boots and i was like oh this is sassy and the bottoms look like this they're actually cuffed which is so nice it's, again i'm cold all the time and the fact that it's cuffed at the bottom means no air is coming up my legs <laughs> i like the trousers but i don't like how yeah! i look pregnant i need to wear undergarments for that shit because otherwise i look pregnant this belly oh my god that is shameful i'm not even eating anything sweet anyways moving to the next outfit this next one i know for sure i'm not going to keep like when i opened it straight away i was like no it's not actually me i don't know why i bought it maybe i saw potential in it i just don't like the quality either it just like feels so fake to me like it feels very polyester like there's something in the air that's making me itch my nose i actually think 
it's nice like it actually might suit somebody else and i like the colors like i love beige and black together now this is the called the jacket so it's a shirt jacket that's what's called the jacket and this is a medium large the color as well just gives me sad vibes do you know what i mean i don't know what it is i'm just maybe crazy i'm so excited about this one i love it so much i'm into hoodies and sweatshirts at the moment and i love it i feel like with hoodies and sweatshirts such a great thing to have living in london i'll show you now sorry i'm talking too much i'm just giving you an introduction because when i saw it i got so excited this is a tie-dye hoodie i've been wanting one so badly this is the one thing i was mostly excited about but i feel freaking hate the sleeves why did you put this elastic thing in it it looks so stupid it looks like i have rolling skin what in the slingy and you know what this is probably gonna drag down by time as well with washing why would you do that i'm so sad look how nice this outfit looks together they match like a dream this looks like elephant arms nope i'm really disappointed in this why did you do that to the sleeve what in the washing line is this <sighs> why is this elastic there i feel like it's gonna itch me inside there's this fur lining which i absolutely love like i think you can see the fur i got this in the size 14 because i wanted it to be oversized anyways we shall see things look different on the website things look different face to face things look different on that's literally why i always think i'm super excited about this one because i think it's super cool so i love leather but this leather jacket is so nice like when i saw it on the website i was like wow the girl wearing it looked like a badass i got this in a size 12 but it actually looks so massive let's wear this you know when i was reading like the model size it's like eight she looks like she's like my size maybe i want it oversized so i was like let me go with my sizing it turns out the model is probably my size this is a moment this is cute this stuff is really badass i love this it's just big but it's really cool it's like a moment you know I just love how it's like a nice take on a leather jacket like it's super cool i love the color the quality is quite nice as well i love the shape of it it just makes you feel like a badass the thing is i don't know if this is convenient for me because i'm constantly cold 24 7 like my friends know i said to my friend the other day it's actually hot outside she was like i rolled off my bed when you said that because you're constantly cold and complain about how cold it is trust and believe now i got myself those jeans and the only reason why i got them is because i love that whole boyfriend jean thing i got it in a size 10 i really like jeans this color now i have one like that but the zip keeps coming off and it keeps breaking like i took it to the tailor to fix it and it broke again i'm not a fat b like come on they're just from primark i don't know what it is so guys before i put this jacket on properly i just want to say excuse the best but i also want to say i absolutely love these jeans i absolutely love it i don't know what to do with myself however what i've gathered this website the sizing is so massive i wear a 10 and it fits me perfectly this is the 10 and like see if i look i either lost weight and now i'm an eight or something is wrong like i could literally just pinch this here so i would like to actually exchange these i love the quality they're comfortable they're baggy you can tell the jeans are big because they're gathering here speaking of jeans believe it or not i actually don't have nice black baggy jeans i just love boyfriend baggy jeans it's my favorite thing ever so this is the one i got it's called fled like something i just hope it looks nice this is in a size 10 i could tell this is gonna be a tad long so i'm gonna have to like tailor it i hope it just fits my damn belly can we just talk about how high-waisted this is this should win the crown this is literally right under my boobs <laughs> i think everybody should know what suits and doesn't suit them when i say high-waisted high-waisted should just be a tad bit lower like about here for me whereas this just shrinks me down i have a long torso which i really like and this just cut me off at the very wrong place i almost couldn't get this through because i have very wide hip this just made me look straight it really took my shape away such a bad jean sorry this is so wide and long who has legs this long this gave me such an ugly shape i don't look like that i swear to god i feel like a llama <laughs> but you know what i like it just sucked me in nicely here you can't see no flap that's what i mean i actually don't have such a bad belly no this is just not for me it's not for my shape it shrank me it just needs to be a tad bit shorter why don't i just design my own damn jeans nadine also it feels very uncomfortable around this area you know when like you get a wedgie straight away not a comfortable pair of jeans at all now i don't know what the flip i thought this was like i really did think this was going somewhere but i don't know what the flip i thought so these are leggings 
you're probably thinking sis are you not hijabi absolutely but i just don't know what i really thought so when i tell you don't trust things online this does not look like the picture what in the flip is this we actually need to have a talk i'm so glad i actually tried this so i can expose this i need to cream my legs bruh this is disgusting do you guys need to see what i'm seeing <laughs> bruh this is reaching to my psoriasis my psoriasis is on my knee <laughs> I feel like a mermaid. <laughs> what the actual shit is this? This is violation. This is not my toes, but this is what my shins look like. This does not look like the picture, guys. I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I feel like with these like fast fashion brands, they buy online. You haven't even checked your product before you sent it out to me to see if it matches the picture on your website. <coughs> no. What in the shins? You want to show your shins? <laughs> You wanna show your skinny shins today? What in the belly dancer is this? What are we lighting for this shit? You know, let me get my shins right. Hey guys, this is Nadine editing. I'm gonna make this super quick, but I just wanted to bring you evidence that backs my point of saying that this does not look like the website. So the picture on the right is a picture of the model wearing the leggings that I purchased. In the details, if you press on it, it says that she's five foot seven. Now I am five foot four. She's wearing heels on top of the fact that she's five foot seven, and the leggings are still longer than her heels that she's wearing. I was like, okay, maybe they actually included her height to on top of the heels she's wearing. So I was like, okay, let me go find another picture of the model while she's wearing something shorter overall she's a five foot seven girl how come i am five foot four and this doesn't even reach down to my heel yeah it's not the same as the website i'm telling you this video better do well do you know what's funny i wasn't even gonna try this this tomfoolery am i wearing it wrong am i wearing it wrong nah i did not ask for my shins to come out today did not I'm gonna put a picture of what I thought I would look like. No, do you know what it- no, this is fake. Do you see this? My psoriasis is exposed. No, you guys need to see. I'm gonna put you on the floor. You guys need to see this. No, no. This is mad. No, this is actually mad. This is offensive. Black leggings I tried literally was so itchy after I took it off. I just don't know what kind of material that is the only reason why i bought them is because it looked really nice on the model it's a little inappropriate to wear it to be very honest with you if you're hijabi if you wear this kind of stuff then you should reconsider this i'm not the most holy but i'm just saying now next are again joggers you're probably bored at this point by the joggers that i'm getting in the jeans these joggers are quite unique that's why i actually got them what's unique about them is the bottom what's with me and split bottom i really don't know you can basically tie at the bottom and i found that super cool if it's long that would be quite nice to have them like flared and open by the trainers that would be quite cool right so these are the joggers not a big fan to be honest I also don't like how the pockets are so prominent. I feel like it looks too young for me. It looks tacky. I can't believe I said that. Yeah, it looks like a 16 year old would wear this and she would love it, but not me. Now, next. I bought so much, I'm actually like concerned. This is what I'm super excited about as well because I love sweatshirts. What I love about this one that it's again in the inside, it's fairy, it's fuzzy, it's gonna be really nice and warm. And I love this acid wash gray. Don't really care about what's written on it, but obviously I should. This is Beverly Hill. This is in the size 10 it does look quite nice and, and oversized but i do hope it's more oversized than i anticipated to be now moving on another tie-dye i love this tie-dye shirt because i think it'll be quite nice to wear it with multiple colors like you can wear it underneath a blazer now this is how it looks i just love this top and you know what i love how tight the collar is around my neck i love that and this shirt is perfect to wear underneath anything and i love the gray and the beige like my two favorite i'm such a basic bitch right i don't care this one is so exciting like i'm actually quite sure i'm really excited to try it because i've never like gotten anything like this now the thing is i wanted to buy this initially in a size 12 but then i was waiting for my friend to send me the discount code and by the time she sent me the discount code there were only six left of the size 12 so it was sold out by the next morning which was taking the piss but so this is a trench this smells so bad it smells like plastic <laughs> this is wrapped pretty nicely so this is actually a trench coat i'm just gonna try it on for you guys i think it's like gonna be oversized and big but let's see <laughs> no this is so big this has some sort of potential but i think it's way too big this is 14 how is this 14 like this is an 18 like this is so big as well like this color is so big again a trench coat is not quite appropriate for this weather unless i'm gonna have to layer it 
crock pot but i don't want to layer to anyway problem of the century well, funny enough i'm literally going to show you guys these leggings i just opened it and i was like what the actual f i've got the picture here of what it looks like they're actually short is it just me or like wait mm, yeah they're gonna rise no no we're not doing it when things look completely different online yeah i know just had a vision i thought these were gonna be a lot more thicker now last but definitely not least i'm kind of disappointed and i was shocked because this was the first item that i opened i thought to myself what the actual hell is this because it's got the fuzz little things i'm actually gonna zoom in like it's already fuzzing can you see this literally looks like it's been worn and washed several times like i honestly was so disappointed when i opened this because i thought the rest of this stuff would look like that but it's already like fuzzy does that make sense and the reason why i actually bought this is because you know like with me being a hijab you see how like this is so white you can see my collarbone what the actual hell is this so i have to always put it back like that even if i try to take pictures you can still see my shoulder which i hate so much so with this look at the collar like it's so nice it's tight and inside again it's fuzzy so that would have been perfect in a different color and also in a better quality like what the actual hell like how could you send that out like you packed that yourself and thought that's a good idea i feel so betrayed i love this so much but i'm just so disappointed at the quality i don't know if you guys could see or the camera's picking it up but it's already got this stuff on it like that's so bad the inside is phenomenal it's quite nice and warm even the shape i just love it like half a moon very modest it covers the back for me you know that sleeve looks like it's been worn i didn't expect to like the color but i actually really like the color what were they thinking did they not check this before they sent it to me so let's conclude this eventful to say the least video i was honestly surprised i'm still surprised just looking in the mirror at this overall i just want to say i don't want to bash fast fashion brands or like these insta fashion brands what's the customer dynamic of these brands who are they targeting because you're not fooling someone like me even primark does better i just want to say like their instagram i want to send this as an advice as a customer just an outsider looking in i went on their instagram right to see what i should order their instagram is trash i'm just gonna put a screenshot here why are there pictures of random things what's that wine glass whoever's managing the instagram page needs to be sacked i'm not even being rude i don't need to see someone licking the water whose instagram page is this it doesn't show me a brand's page it's trying so hard to be aesthetically pleasing what are you a 16 year old girl on the internet there were hardly any posts that i could find to make me decide on what i could buy i don't need to see this i don't need to see this on your page it looks like they don't even believe in their own clothing that they're promoting them they're not reposting people that are wearing their clothes as well so i can see what i could potentially buy anyways i don't want to bash nobody i'm not here to like disrespect the brand i was actually looking forward to what i've ordered also you're not being accurate with the pictures on your website also the sizing is so baffling i don't know what i expected but i did not expect such trash quality even primark is not like that like i understand they don't manufacture these clothes themselves it really did seem like they just buy the clothes put their label on it and basically sell the stuff which is you know what other brands do like misguided i think and boohoo and pretty little thing that's i think what they all do at the same time just have some quality control and i don't promote fast fashion i hate fast fashion i'm sorry i left on like a really low note if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you like my content please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because i thoroughly Really enjoy making content this is now what i like doing i've actually quit my job just to do youtube please subscribe support me follow me on my instagram follow me on my tiktok everything will be on the screen and the links to all the clothing items will be down in the description i really hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you like these series i'll make them like a weekly thing from now on where i buy from online stores and review their quality and everything else and if i like the clothes in general thank you guys so much for watching bye it's literally almost 4 a.m. This try on haul went. Mm -hmm. I just want to have one of these. Am I fat for this? I just don't know what I really thought.